you drag her in here for? It's my turn today, and I need a drink, all right? And I can hardly leave her at home, can I? Yeah, well, I told you it wasn't a good idea taking her in. Two gin and tonics, please, Linda. I know you. Yeah, it's Linda, Mum. Mick's wife. You keep away from my stand, tart! Tina. Right. Just sit over there, Mum, all right? I'll be over in a minute. Stay there. You keep her well away from me. I don't want it in spitting distance. <sighs> Do you want another one? Can I have a lemonade this time? And a packet of salt and vinegar crisps? Yeah. I, uh, I got Sharon's text. Oh, yeah, she, uh, she said you'd understand. Dad's in no state of coming. She didn't want to leave him on his own. Yeah, of course. Linda. Sorry, can we do this just because I've only got 15 minutes for my lunch? Oh, right. Yeah, uh, tea. <clears throat> um, uh, can I have a bit of hush? Ladies and gents, um, as most of you know, uh, Peggy Mitchell was the former landlady of the Queen Vic, and um, a few days ago she was she was laid to rest. Um, her death hasn't just affected her family, but all those who knew and loved her. So, um, as tribute to Peggy, uh, me and Mick have had this new pub bell made. And now I'd like to ask Roxy, her niece, to uh, ring it for the first time. Here right, we go. Um, right, well, I didn't actually prepare anything to say. Um, so, Linda and Mick, thank you for this. <sighs> Only Peggy, she was, she was tough, you know, like... Queen Victoria herself, she was a woman not to be messed with. Too true. <laughs> but she had a heart of gold. And she loved this place. And she loved you, her punters. Even though she didn't always agree with you. <laughs> and you all loved her right back. And she knew that. Anyway, to my auntie, Peggy. To Peggy! Hey, Peggy. Peggy. Listen, Paul, look, you know how I feel about it, don't you? It's just I feel uncomfortable, you know, in front of other people. He's going into hospital tomorrow to have his stomach drained. He's staying overnight. Is that right? You can go see him if you want. I would have wanted to do that. 